so guys for the sake of the video for the sake of the viewers i'm gonna talk crap about my car today So guys, as you can see, I've recently bought myself a Forte Coupe. So if you guys want to take a look at the process of me buying the car, uh, you can check out the link over here. So it's not that the car is not good. The, the, the car is great. The car is great. So far, I've been driving that like my it's like my daily drive and everything's good. But there, I want to point out that there is actually five things that I hate about my car. First thing I actually like hate about the car is the seat belt i must actually like stretch all the way back there just to like grab the seat belt i'm six feet tall and you know a big guy in a small car is sometimes kind of you know kind of crampy like i'm just like oh my god i was like stretch all the way just to grab the damn seat belt holy sh my friends okay the other thing that i actually hate about the car is I don't know that how you guys feel about it. It's actually the armrest. Okay, it's not that the armrest is hard plastic or anything. It kind of feels, it feels like hard plastic, but it's not hard plastic. It's more like those uh, Casco chairs kind of, kind of armrest kind of material. It is not hard but it's not soft either but thank goodness i mean thank you thank god that this part is actually leather or else i will be crying like throughout the whole trip because every time i drive i will need to like put my hand here i will like put my hand over here yeah it's kind of inconvenient if these parts are like super super hard or super super like super super plastic which I think I'm not gonna like it. The third thing that I actually hate about the car is actually the steering wheel. Okay, there, there, there's nothing wrong about the steering wheel actually. Just that you're driving a sports car, you are expecting something very like heavy, heavy kind of steering wheel. Like this steering wheel is like too soft. It's like, what do I call that? It's like too electronical assist it's like overly electronical assist that the responsiveness of the steering is not what you get well what what you are asking for it's like how do i how do i put this into words is that every time i'm trying to do a u-turn this thing kind of responds a little bit slower than the usual cars that i drive just that you know a sport car should have a, a stiffer steering wheel uh, the highway driving for this is actually great so because you are just driving straight you're not going anywhere so yeah that that's that one little thing that i kind of hate about the steering wheel it is too electronically assist it means it's like uh you, you you don't need to put in strength to actually to actually kind of twist the steering wheel which i'm not a fan of i prefer that I need to actually put some strength in it to kind of do some cornering like if, if I were to drive in an urban area like places like there are lots of lots of cornering um, this is not a fun car to drive but if I were to like driving like most of the time straight roads highways freeways or something yeah, this is this is great this steering is great like there's like one more thing that I actually hate about the car technically this these are this uh, these are those little stuff that are actually uh, that are actually kind of matters to me is that what is this these are like plastic over here look at that plastic over here I mean come on come on what are these these are all hard plastic which is uh, I understand that the, for the price that I'm paying for is actually kind of okay but I'm expecting like more soft touches here and there for me to like you know get the feel of that premium the, the, the premium feel of the car but yeah these are kind of a letdown for me every time I like stuck in a traffic jam I will always like place my hand over here and I'm like oh man it's not those like Mercedes-Benz kind of feels. Uh, I, I know that I pay for 
I have paid for literally not a lot for this car then I'm not expecting like full leather all over the, all over the place so yep so this is one of the things that I kind of hate uh, it's plastic plastic man holy shit. okay guys that one final thing that I actually kind of hate about the car believe it or not is actually the doors okay this I don't think there's anything wrong about the doors but if you notice that the door actually opens pretty wide here because that the door is super big that sometimes if I were to park into tight spaces I will be ran into problems like uh, can't open the door wide enough for me to get out of the car that is why I kind of install these kind of rubbers over here to kind of you know protect the door because I don't want to scrape off any pain or I don't want to scrape off uh, anybody's pain so yeah this rubber is kind of ugly but I have no choice for the sake of the car for the sake of the paint I gotta do it man life sucks okay guys that is all for today so these are the basic five things that I actually hate about my cars so for more videos guys click the like button or the dislike button uh, subscribe if you haven't already leave a comment down below if you have anything to ask so I will be seeing you in the next video adios guys